looking at your dimple. <laughs> I wonder, will the same people find you again? Yeah, they should. Hi, Maple Oats. I love that. <laughs> Hi, Cassidy again. Hi, Hermione. We changed it to a Q&A. As long as it's appropriate. Well, we won't answer if it's, you know. How do you tell? Like, isn't there a special place they go? Oh my god, why don't I have Q&A on here? Hold on. Admin settings. Where's Q&A? Common settings? Is it? I don't know. Q&A. There, that's where it is. It's under interact. I don't want to do that. Thank you, Dixie. Thank you, Kenzie. You guys, is there no um, Q&A thing here? No, it says there is. Thank you, Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Michelle. Okay, all right. Thank you, Kenzie. Thank you, Cassidy. So what does it do? Light up if someone sends you a yeah, question? Yeah, it'll like say how many and then we click and answer them. Boop, boop. Michelle, you're built like fucking Jessica Rabbit if she went and worked on her like fucking pecs nine times a day. Who are you to talk? We're good, Ryo. How are you? Let's see. See, this is how you do it. I answered that one yesterday. We just answered this one, so I'm going to do this. Thank you, Jill. Hi, Jesse. We're good. How are you? All right, this question is, what are our plans for the future? What are your plans? <laughs> to stay married? <laughs> <laughs> That's a plan of mine, too. Um, and I want a fenced yard and... Hmm, more dogs? More dogs, yes. Um, that comes with the fenced yard, though. Yeah, that's true. Um, what else? What else? Should Some we... runner ducks. Oh my god, yeah, I would like runner ducks. I'd love a pair of runner ducks. We have a pair of pecans. I want a room back. Yeah. Because we've been, we, the floor needs to be redone, so we've been sleeping in, like, the second living room or the den or whatever. We call it a family room. <laughs> um, what else? I'm trying to think of anything for Roman, but he's doing pretty good lately. <laughs> I don't know. I'd like to take Roman more places. And yes. give him some more experiences. Yes. Because there's more places in Vermont that we can take him. And I think there are even, um, I'd like to find sensory friendly places to take him and yeah. all that good stuff. That's very true. I agree with that. I'd love to, to get going. Like as soon as the things calm down, like I'd love to see him do, uh, more in Special Olympics. And yes. I would love him to do more with Special Olympics. That would be really fun. I think those are good goals for the future. <laughs> Maybe some family fishing. A sensory friendly place is like when they cater to people with um, sensory um, issues. Like, you know, there's a sensory friendly movie theater near us that he goes to. <laughs> oh my God, that's so cute. Six shots, that's awesome. Congrats. So we answered that one. So then we go here and we find. Uh, um... Okay, so this question is what is your pet peeve? I'll go first. My pet peeves are slurping. Um. <laughs> And I don't like the sound of styrofoam. What do you think another pet peeve of mine is? <laughs> Being hungry. <laughs> yeah, when I'm hungry, I'm mean. I'm hangry. I get mean. I'm there with you, so. Yes. What's your pet peeves? I don't have too many. I know. Let me think. I think I could think of one. Fans. Um, I don't. Like yeah, he fans. doesn't like fans. Um, like fans that blow. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> and um, crowded places, I guess. Yeah, he doesn't like crowded places, and he doesn't like driving on the highway. That I don't know if that's a pet peeve. Well, yeah, he doesn't like traffic and stuff. That's why. 
traveling in rush hour is a big one. Yes, yeah, he doesn't <laughs> like that. I will, but I don't like it. Are you saying you want to see our feet? I don't know about that. How much will you pay us? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Who's that? Oh, it's a scam. Do, 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 do. Um, let's see. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, this was asked twice, so we should answer this, I guess. Okay, so we don't really have a proposal story. Um, <laughs> it was basically like one day I said, do you want to get married? And he was like, no, I'm not ready yet. And then I asked him a little while later and he's like, okay. <laughs> That's really how it happened. Um, and then we just like had a justice of the peace thing. And it was really pretty. It was like this bridge where you crossed over after you said I do. And like, it was really pretty. Um... Roman stayed with um, my mom when we got married because we were nervous because he darts a lot and he lopes. We were so nervous he would run. Um, I'm glad we did that because the way it was set up, he could have ran right in the road. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it was it was a good day. I remember I was so excited to kiss Eli that the lady kept making fun of me. <laughs> that was funny. Oh man, that was funny. And then like we went to the um, the town. Is it yeah the town hall there for our marriage certificate? And um, it was so funny because like they were trying to be respectful because like obvious like they knew I was trans and they're like, so like technically you're his wife, right? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you could just write wife, so I'm legally his wife. <laughs> Let's see. So we egg we do that and then we go here. No. <laughs> Did you read the question? Um, no. Uh, we well, I mean, I don't think so. I mean, I one of the things that we really connected on is like it sounds it sounds stupid or ironic saying this but like for a gay trans couple we're pretty old-fashioned <laughs> like i mean as old-fashioned as you can get like i don't i don't want to say i don't believe in divorce because i obviously know in certain situations like you know there's a lot of really serious situations where people should be free to people should always be free to leave but um I do take marriage very seriously. I only want to be married once and I, it would be really important to me to just work things out. And I feel like he's the same way. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think we got, you know, we waited a while. Yeah. We knew each other for, mm, like Close. four years. No, three. It would be three years till we got married. And mm. then, yeah. So we waited and he, we waited a long time for him to be introduced to Roman too. Um, but I just, he always says, you know, if he always talks about, I'm always like, would you ever divorce, divorce me? He's like, no, the worst I would do is I'd like leave for a night at a bar. <laughs> and then I come back. <laughs> yeah. Just start calling the street corners. <laughs> <laughs> um, if someone was better at a grill, it'd be Eli. Cause I'm very, I don't like fire. Um, so he'd be the grill guy. <laughs> but actually, my father-in-law, Juarez, he is, like, really good on the grill. Like, so he good. He loves to make his picanha. Yeah, oh, my God, it's so good. He's so good at grilling. He, like, um, he's Brazilian, and he will give us a platter of, like... Different, uh, different uh, Brazilian meats. Yeah, he is great. Oh, my God, it's so good. My favorite is the picanha, the, um, the like, the steak with the seasoning. Oh, my God, it's so good. And then he makes <laughs> um, something else. He makes, like, a type of sausage. I don't really like sausage, but then he makes a chicken, too. And, um, oh, my God. I can't see Thank you, is. Annie. I think it says Annie. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what the mayo was for. Oh, my God, no idea. What, what was for? Roman's, uh how he took the mayo oh maybe he thought it was just white slime oh maybe probably just wanted to play with it thinking it was a bottle of slime we left on the shelf oh my god i hope that was I'd throw myself into a fire <laughs> before i get oh my god never <laughs> if we don't give up our animals he definitely ain't yeah going nowhere. <laughs> i won't even i won't even give up my friggin i won't even give up a duck i won't even give up a rooster i, I had a neighbor who eh. lived here over 30 years okay and he hated my rooster so much and i i was so headstrong i wasn't gonna get rid of that goddamn rooster and so he ended up moving <laughs> he ended up having to move after 30 years because i refused to give up my rooster so i'd never give up my kid oh my god 
<laughs> Let's see. We got to look. There's more. I think there's a lot of them <laughs> coming in. I don't really know much of David Bowie, to be honest. Do you know much of David Bowie? He played in um, that movie I like. The Oh, my God. Now I can't think of the name. The Labyrinth? Is that the one? <laughs> I don't know. The one with the baby. <laughs> yes, Mimi, I do remember on uh, girls group when... So, I went to a behavioral school growing up and out of like... I think there was like 30 boys and 5 girls. And me and Mimi were one of the only Labyrinth, two girls. Yes. We were the only two girls. And like, um, it was so funny. They made us like a <laughs> mini curves thing. So that like we... We're supposed to like work out like it was really kind of just a low budget thing that they did um but oh my god those days were so fun i love those days i mean looking back i mean obviously we had so much caddy drama but those were good days <laughs> <laughs> it was the labyrinth some a uh, few people shouted it out i couldn't remember the name of it it's a movie yes i've shown you that yeah the you song had yeah yeah of that I think you There's a, a TikTok creator on here, I think, who sounds just like him. Um, and I don't remember what his username is, but I've seen him a few times through the feed. Look at... Hold on. Do you guys ever have anxiety? Yes, both of us. We don't... Um, we don't really do anything without each other. And when we do, well, I get anxious. And I know he gets anxious because when he goes anywhere without me, he calls me every minute. <laughs> So I get really nervous though and like the way I the only way I found that things work for me is Exposure therapy and I know for everybody that doesn't work um, But for me it does because I'll have to like put myself in the situations like I hate grocery stores I'm terrified of them, but I have to go in them and then I feel a little better once I'm in them Do you know how many times he has to turn around and go back home because I have anxiety? Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's okay though the artist the labyrinth I, you know, I don't know if I have or not. I've heard so much. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, how Eli and I met, we met on Plenty of Fish. And, um, so yeah. <laughs> There's not much of a story there. He was actually in training when I met him, and, um, we weren't, like, looking for anything serious, and then we just couldn't stay away from each other. <laughs> How many kids do you want? Well, me, I would say one. If you ask my husband, probably 12. Um, <laughs> no, but, like, right now we have our hands full. I mean, obviously, I don't know what the future holds. I do have a feeling that in the future we'll end up with more kids just because I just have a feeling. Um, I just have a feeling. Um, a lot of people ask, like, if we'd adopt. And, like I said, I don't know, like, what the future, you know, holds. Um, right now, I wouldn't only because... When I think of adopting right now, my main goal is I don't want Roman to be alone when we are gone. And I don't think that's a good reason to bring a child into the world, even if it's adoption, bring a child into your family. Because um, I don't think any child should be brought in with a purpose other than being loved and cared for. Uh, so that's my take on it. But I know, like, I think my husband, yeah, you would like a bigger family, right? Yeah, but my take on it is right now I want Roman to get the attention that he needs. Yes, and that, that's like, I feel like when Roman gets to a certain point, that's something to consider. But right yeah. now, um, because he's still young and I still want that bonding time with yeah. him, the one-on-one -on -one time. Like, to me, it's important to get all that with Roman. And if we were to just go and have get more kids now, like, I feel like, well, there goes my bonding. You know, Roman's yeah. young and it's the best time to bond with kids. That's true. That's true. There's Roman. Do you see him? <laughs> you see his little red hair. I in see. The I can't show you because, like, you know, like hip or whatever. But like, I can see Roman in the window, <laughs> and he's playing with like sticky things on the window. That's so. Do you think he sees us? He might, but I think he's got those at home. He does, but yeah, but oh, but that's because I don't let him play with his window because of the alarms. That's probably why he hasn't used them. We should teach him to do it on the mirror. You know? Yeah, but, oh, but that's because I don't let him play with his window because of the alarms. That's probably why he hasn't used them. We should teach him to do it on the mirror. You know, we could probably bolt, like, a mirror-type thing down low for him. 
Yeah. Oh my god, that's so funny. I just saw his big fire engine head have hair. <laughs> he must be having a play break. Thank you, Melissa. I know. Is that the guy that was just here? I don't know. Look at him. He's taking them all off. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. Let's see. Do we have any more? Thank you, Melissa. So we answered that one. <laughs> this one, do you want me to answer? Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about this. What are the favorite tattoos of each of you have? Well, <laughs> I'll start. I'm going to talk about the one I hate. <laughs> <laughs> so one day, so my husband's been sober three years. I've been sober eight years. We're both sober. Demi's completely sober. A lot of people are like, are like, oh my God, thank you. Thank you, Maddie. A lot of people are like, do you smoke or whatever? And like, no, I totally support it. But like, we don't. We are completely sober. So uh, one year, um, this was like, I don't know, either the first or second year we met. And he was like, he was, he was, <laughs> he, he wanted this tattoo. And it was of like a demon woman. Okay. And I was like, please do not get that tattoo. And he wasn't going to get it. But then I think we got in an argument. And he got <laughs> trashed. And he got the tattoo. And he still has it. And it's in a visible spot too. And I can't show it. Because everybody's like, oh, we'll just show it. Show it. I can't show it. She is naked. I can't show it. And she's a demon. And <laughs> he still got, oh my god, just to spite me. Oh. So that's my least favorite tattoo he has. <laughs> it's a beautiful uh, reminder, you know. I like his arm tattoo. He has a redemption tattoo. I like that. What's your favorite tattoo of me? Oh, man. You got so many. I do have a lot. I have 52. I know. The ones on your hands are very well done. I thought you were going to say our marriage date. Well, yeah. And that's the obvious <laughs> one. But if we're talking pre-marriage date, like, you got lots of nice ones. Thank you. What's one you hate? One I hate? Yep. I don't think you got any I hate. They're all pretty well done. I got a lot of naked women on me. <laughs> but they're they're tasteful and not demons. So. Alright. Let's see. Yeah. Any more? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know who that is, um, Sammy. Or Sam, sorry. Do you? I have no clue. Should we answer this? Or I, I couldn't answer that because I... I couldn't answer that because I think it's different for every person. <laughs> I'm trying to think of Roman when he was the terrible twos. Was he really bad? I think he got bad at four. <laughs> 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 so Roman didn't hit the terrible Okay, this twos. is for you. How did Eli feel the first time meeting Roman? <laughs> oh, I was, well, I was nervous. I mean, but I, luckily I had worked in human services and, uh. Respite. Uh, yeah. Well, human services, I did a course in high school where I was teaching um, preschool. So, yeah. you know, I'm pretty good with kids. In fact, I'm probably better with kids than I am other adults. Probably. Um, so, I mean, I was nervous, but I was kind of excited to meet him. Uh, we waited. Uh, obviously, we had lots of talks about, you know, his interests and what he liked. And he even grabbed the phone. and <laughs> I remember messaging me. He gave yeah. me the infomercial. <laughs> yes. <One time. laughs> yes, I actually have a screenshot of it. So when um, <laughs> before my husband and uh, Eli met in person, um, uh, wait, no, before my husband and Roman met in person, uh, Roman used to message Eli on Facebook. Um, and one thing he would do is he loved Empire commercials. And so he would be like, um, you know, the 588 to 300 Empire call now carpet today. No call today carpet tomorrow and like he'd send those to eli when he was in like class at training and stuff <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Thank you, House. and um also he used to um i have like some messes where he would like um i won't say his last name but he'd like he would only address eli by his first and last name like his full name and um that's how he would type to him online um and it was just so cute he used to also sing his name a lot um, it was so cute. Um, but they actually talked um, on Messenger before they met in person. <laughs> Thank you, love bug. Yeah, I don't even think we video chatted. It was just a few messages. No, you did. I oh. got. I found a screenshot of them uh, video chatting together. Um, like before, um, you know, before oh, yeah. you guys met. Or maybe it was right after. I can't remember. It might have been right after you met. <laughs> I can't remember. 
Thank you, Trisha. Doo -doo. Um, besides farm animals, we have a Newfoundland dog named Rosie, and we have a cat named Gremlin and a cat named Cush. Roman, um, does he like the ducks? Like, they're not his favorite, but out of all the animals, I'd say Rosie and the ducks would be the ones he kind of likes. Because ducks are kind of goofy, and, like, he, he thinks they're funny. Like, he doesn't like the chickens, which it's funny he wears all chicken attire now, because he doesn't like chickens at all. Um, he threatens me that he's going to eat my chickens outside. Like, one time, actually a couple of times, he's told me, like, when I say, what do you want for dinner? He'll say chicken, like, outside. Like, he wants to eat my chickens. I wonder if that's why he, like, I was asking Eli the other day, I wonder if that's why he's wearing all my chicken gear to, like, spite me. Because he talks about eating them all the time. Because he still doesn't like the chickens. Like, he doesn't. Um... He likes ducks a little bit, though. He likes them. He thinks they're really funny and goofy. And um, not so much that he'd help take care of them. But And cats, he's not into. He's not really a cat person. He loves, like, he likes the dogs and the ducks, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What else? Is Roman still in the window? No. <laughs> no, Roman is homeschooled. We get about, um, in the spring we get about a dozen eggs a day. Um, but right now I'm only getting seven a day, but that's because it's like really still in the beginning. Or it could be because my chickens, some of them are getting older. It could be that too. Yeah, some of them I think are going to stop laying at about two. Yes. Uh, my son is homeschooled, but when he does go to public school, he goes to just a regular public school. My favorite color is red. What's your favorite color? I think it was red too. Red, black, and purple. Take your pick. Oh my god, that's, those are mine. Um, how did I know Roman was different? Well, I knew from the jump, he, I mean, he was going to be a little unique because I don't think that I could birth a child and not have them be like that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Um, but I knew, um, so the first sign to me that like, and I didn't, I didn't know he had autism, but the first, um different um like uh behavior i noticed was that um my son when he was a newborn he would kick his legs very like constantly kick his legs um and i know that that's normal babies kick like obviously even when they're in the womb they kick um but he would kick his legs so fast i mean and constantly he never stopped unless he was sleeping and um even my mom she was like i've never i've never seen a baby do that that much like and she started thinking like something's not like, I don't want to say not right, obviously, because just because he's autistic, it doesn't mean something's not right. But something was, like, uh, atypical, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's not... Like, we didn't know it was autism. So, I was thinking, like, I didn't know what I was thinking. I was just thinking that this isn't, like, common, and I didn't know what it was. Um, that he was going to just be an active kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we used to joke that he'd be a <laughs> soccer player. Because... <laughs> Um, now looking back, I think he was stimming. I really do because when he would, he would do it, like obviously babies are attracted to bright lights and stuff. I know that's natural, but really every like symptom you see in children, um, that they say is, you know, a symptom of autism, all those things can be seen in neurotypical kids too and babies, you know? Um, but also, um, when he like would see something that was really bright, like a TV or flashing lights, like that is when he would really go nuts. And like, he would like, not only like kick his legs, but his arms would go. And like, I think he was stimming even as an infant. I really do. I do. That's the first thing I noticed, but I didn't know what it was. Um, but looking back, I think, I don't know. <laughs> Oh my god, meatloaf. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Yep, he actually, uh, they scheduled the OT after. So he has feeding and OT till 2.45. Oh, I should say, by the way, you guys, if I am this, like, instantly, it's not, I'm not trying to be rude. It's just I am terrified of catching, like, a therapist on camera or something. So right when I see him, I end it just so I respect everybody's privacy. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Nikki. <laughs> All right, we answered this one. Roman got tested and diagnosed uh, for autism at 18 months. What is the funniest thing Roman has ever done? Oh, man. 
He's done a lot. <laughs> yeah, like, I literally, like, sometimes I'll be afraid I'll run out of content, and I never do, because he's always up to something. Let me tell you what. The most recent funny thing that just sticks in my head is when I was laying in bed playing on my phone, and he jumps on me, sits on top of me, and says, Hey, stink, I want pizza. <laughs> That's better than when he called him Susan. <laughs> Remember he called you Susan? <laughs> yes, yes. But when he's mad at me, when he... This is why I say, I'm like, listen, all these trolls on here misgendering me, thinking you're going to hurt my feelings. Let me tell you something. My kid, when he was pissed at me the other day, he's like, hey, lady, hey, lady. Yeah, yeah. Thick skin, <laughs> thick skin, because that's what we live with, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if there's any more. Oh, we just did that one. We did this one, um, I think. Yeah, we did that one. Oh, my goodness. But at least we answered it, so. What's your favorite dinner to cook with me? Where's this? Um, my favorite dinner to cook with, uh, Eli is, uh, scallops wrapped in bacon. What about you? Is that your favorite to cook or eat? Because I'm the one that's normally <laughs> wrapping them scallops and yeah. bacon. What are you talking about? My favorite dinner to cook with you? Oh, I don't know. The question is to cook, not to eat. Thank you, Carissa. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What is that? What do we make? That's... I know you don't like to touch flour, so it's yeah. nothing with flour. Um, We don't, I don't know. Roasted vegetables because I don't have to do any work. See? <laughs> What's your favorite dish to cook with me? Mm. See? You don't when know. When I either. get to watch you cook and not have to cook. Exactly. That was my answer too. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, let's see. Jalen, that was the god awful tattoo in question that I cannot speak of. It is like Lord Voldemort. <laughs> 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 let's see we are in the car a lot because roman has a lot of appointments our anniversary is june 29th how come it won't let me click it are you frozen whoops there we go maybe it'll let oh maybe because it was going so fast because <laughs> it's loading more stuff up in <laughs> Okay, how did Roman react to my transition? To be honest, he didn't. Um, the first time um, I came out to my son that I was trans, I literally was so nervous. I not only consulted a bunch of professionals um, that we had on his team at the time, but I also consulted um, like autistic people themselves and asked, hey, how should I go about this? And um, to my surprise, that was like, um, not to my surprise that it was very helpful, but what I'm about to say is surprising to me. Um, I was like met with a lot of autistic people that were also transgender and they told me that it's not like super uncommon. Um, obviously, I'm not saying that everybody autistic is trans. That's not what I'm saying. Um, but like it, they were explaining to me like it's actually not uncommon and um, to just be very honest, be very direct. Um, and that's what I did. Um, I just very blatantly told him that I was transgender. I explained it in a way that was child appropriate. Um, and his response was, I want pizza. Uh, so he was unbothered. Um, for my kid, this is just as normal. Um, you know, he doesn't get picked on for it. Everybody knows me around here. He doesn't, he's not like traumatized by it. Like it's weird. Cause like, I feel like a lot of people, obviously not, um, this commenter, but, um, a lot of people almost, um, want my child to be traumatized um because i'm transgender because that would fit their agenda and it would be able to push their beliefs and that's not um it's just not true um a good example is um my son i remember this was like you know back before he even talked or anything um he wrote me a text and it said my mom is scary handsome he meant like handsome but he wrote handsome <laughs> so like to him like it's just normal like he views me as his mom but he his mom looks like a dude and it's not really that weird to him it's it's normal and he knows that that's not how most families are um and that's okay you know all that matters is if you're compassionate reliable safe and you know that you always show up and be a good parent and i do that and that's all that matters <laughs> You should also add that he does not like you with hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, he, I've tried to grow out my hair. He don't like it. He don't like, like, even, um, 
He doesn't like anything like that. Like, this is how he knows me. Bald, tattooed, that's his mom. Like, he doesn't like me any other way. Like, even when I grow up my hair a little and stuff, he's like, he does not like it. He loves when I clean shave my yeah. hair. Yeah, yeah, he wants to be the only one with luxurious hair in the household. That's it. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's see. Okay, I like this question. What is our favorite thing about each other? My favorite thing about Eli is that um, he has a lot of traits that I'm unable to have. I've tried for a long time. Like, he's very patient. He's very compassionate. Um, and, like... I like that he's a like he's not impulsive like if there's a situation where I'm, I'm very reactive like I want to react to everything and he's the opposite and I think that that takes a lot of like wisdom and just like self-restraint which um, that takes a lot of strength to do I feel uh, so I really look up to him to that and physically I like his dimples okay your turn <laughs> oh man well you're high energy and I love Thank it you because that just keeps me going every day. You're very Thank positive. You. Thank you. Um, you pick up quick. So, like, when I have to do DIY projects, my husband is great in the fact of he does pick up very fast. Thank and sometimes you. he outdoes me tenfold, which is great because the projects look better. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, a physical trait, I mean, when I first met you, it was your style. I mean, Thank I you. I like the style, the cut shirts, and, the, you know, the Thank bald you. head. <laughs> Your eyes. Thank you. Your tats, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Mimi. <laughs> Favorite activity to do as a family? I think it'd probably be the beach or when we went to that the pool, right? Or Vermont. You know, the most... In Roman loves the pool with us. Yeah, Like, that's his biggest thing with us is the pool. Yes, he loved that. I mean, we need to go back to that. Really, it's probably open now because it's indoor. Or they had an indoor one. But I don't know how many people go there. But that, I think it, yeah, probably that or, uh, we really want to try to bring him to an arcade, but I'm like the only arcade I know of near me is at the beach and I'm so scared because he runs and like, so I'm nervous about that. Um, but we were just talking the other day that he would probably be great at an arcade. He seemed to, he asked me about one he saw on TV. Yeah. I forget what it, I think it might've been Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. And so, I don't know, like, I think it'd be fun. We just have to prepare for the animatronics. Yes. <laughs> Who's more affectionate, Eli or Festa? Um, okay, so I think he's more physically affectionate. Like, he's more, like, I'm not a very physically affectionate person. Um, but I would say I'm more, like, um, affectionate as in, like, like, I do, um... I don't know, I feel like I do more, like, romantic things. Like, I'll write, like, long things about him on Facebook. Like, he's not like that, um, which is totally okay. But, um, so I think he, he's more, like, affectionate physically, and I'm more affectionate, like, in other ways. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do you think that's accurate? I don't know. Yeah, we just show our affection differently. <laughs> yes, yeah. My, okay, advice for first-time chicken owners. Hmm. Set your coop up before Deep they order. arrive. Yeah, because we didn't. <laughs> we didn't. We did it the day they came. <laughs> yup. Oh, my God. And, okay, so then our our last coop froze. And so then we had to build another one while the chickens were in our house. We had 20 chickens in our house in a tent because uh, the weather was so bad. So we had to build them a coop from scratch in two days. And, um, but... What about, would you say, they're not very high maintenance, though. I know that sounded really bad, but they're not really high maintenance. Um, Just don't let them get soaked on yes. a day where they're going to have to be out. Yeah. I don't even know why they did that. I Chickens are not always bright. But, no, they are intelligent, but they don't always make the best choices. They, I don't even know how they got wet. Like, I don't know. But you should, um, <laughs> I would say, like... Um, let me think. I would say do look into the deep litter method. That has saved us a lot of work. Um, I would say feed them. Um, what works for us is like oyster shells and high calcium for laying sometimes. Um, you know, um, just keep an eye when they molt if you need to remove one. Cause... Temperament to what you want because like mm -hmm. you said, the Easter egg or you and her oh. don't, don't care for each other yeah. that much. That is true. <laughs> Certain breeds, it's like, you know, like, I don't get along with my Easter egg at all. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Oops, do I... Oh, let me... 
Okay. Um, we answered that one. Do, 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 do. We answered that one. What do you think about smoking cigarettes? Oh, I wish it was healthy. I'll tell you that. It is, I, okay, so he quit, like, probably, I don't know how long ago. Like A long time. I only, for me, it wasn't too bad to quit. Oh, my God. For me, it was rough. I miss smoking cigarettes so much, and I know it's, like, taboo to say, and, like, People who are non-smokers will listen to this and be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But, like, I, to this day, like, I crave smoking. I haven't smoked in years, and I still crave it. And to the point where I love the smell of secondhand smoke, like, if I go to the thrift store and I buy something and it smells like cigarettes, that's a win for me, baby. And if it's discounted, I just got what I wanted even more for less of a price. <laughs> because, like, I have a leather jacket I got um, from the thrift store. They actually gave it to me for free. And it does smell like cigarettes, and I love it because it, like, reminds me of not just me smoking but growing up and my dad, like, lighting up a Marlboro Red and, like, oh, I just love it. You know, that's true. You don't see, like, now I think it's illegal to smoke with a kid car, but yeah. I remember you sit in the back seat and <laughs> your grandparents be smoking up a storm. Yeah. <laughs> my mom didn't smoke, but. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it know? is different now, though, because, like, Roman's dad, like, his dad and, uh, uh, stepmom they smoked like chain smoked in the house and oh my god when I would get him back that is one thing it's a different atmosphere now like when I was a kid if I went to school smelling like cigarettes everybody smelled like cigarettes it didn't matter you know what I mean but like now I would be like paranoid like oh my god I didn't want him to smell like cigarettes because it's definitely viewed in a different light now um which I get it you know kids shouldn't be around cigarette smoke I, I agree with that um but yeah it's different it's definitely different he would he would come home smelling like a cigarette oh my god you save money i mean that's yeah. the biggest thing like yeah you know for what you pay for a pack of cigarettes now you could go and take a kid to an arcade and <laughs> yeah. they could have a wild time on that that's true you that's know? true it's a lot of money saved it is it's it is Your it's health not worth is saved. it yeah yeah that's true all right, let's see. Oh, my God, thank you, Chungus, and I love that username. Isn't that from, uh... Oh, no, I'm thinking of, uh... Me What's that kid's name on Boys Meets World? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, little baby goth. Thank you, Meg. Whoops. All right, all right, all right, let's see. Um... Oh, I just answered that one. He's trying, he's do. he's, um, he's trying to eat healthier, so that's why it's black coffee. Hmm. If we could get another pet, what would it be? Um, for me, I would want, like, another big dog. Um, and he, I know what you're gonna say. Well, I don't know, because now I'm torn on a mini, a uh, min pin, miniature pincher. I thought that would affect insurance. A Miniatur pincher, a Doberman? I don't... Can't they impact insurance? I don't know. House insurance I'm talking about. I don't think min pins affect it. Um, or he wanted a dash hound. But, like, wouldn't my dog kill it? Like, honest to God, my dog is 140 pounds. You saw the pictures of Rosie with I all know. these little dogs around <laughs> her. Okay. But that's supervised. Like, if we had a dash hound and we were, like... You know, like, because we're not going to monitor it 24-7. Well, like, that's why you wait till she's a little older when she's not puppy paw and everything. I don't know. I but still a be great, nervous. But a great Dane, a great Pyrenees, a mountain dog, those are all great dogs. Yes, I would love a great Pyrenees. Who fell in love first? It Okay. The question is, who fell in love first? Me. Definitely me. Um, I used to tell my husband, even before I met him, I was like, I know you're my soulmate, and I know you think I'm crazy because I've never met you, um, but I'm going to say the same thing when we're married years from now, and I was right. Um, my husband had, like, these rules when we started dating. <laughs> like, he couldn't say I love you until uh, we were officially dating, and it was in person, which I kind of get. I get that. Because, um, you know, sometimes you meet people in person, and the energy's off. It wasn't like that for us, luckily. Um, <laughs> but, like, he had... What was the other rule? Um, oh, yeah, he wouldn't, like, make it official or anything till we met in person, which that also was understandable. But what was frustrating to me is that, like, 
he wouldn't make it a fit. We had been talking for like over, for actually years, I'd say. And he, not like years and years, but like two years. And he wouldn't make it official till we met in person. But then he would like sign up to be on these like, this like CDL isolated truck thing where I couldn't see him for years. And I'm like, that is not fair. <laughs> like, and so, um, finally one night he was like, um, he was like, I, I like, I, you know, guilt tripped him or whatever. I was like, you're never going to come see me. I'm so sick of it. And he's like, listen, I'm going to find a way to come see you now. And I want no fighting anymore. I'm finding a way. And he did. And he came to see me. He got a car at like midnight and he drove four hours to see me. And the only thing open was McDonald's. That was our first date. (laughs) But yeah, then, you know, after that, he said, I love you. But I had already been saying it for like a year. Okay. but (laughs) All right. If we were, um, so I want to stay in New Hampshire for the rest of my life. See how it gets dark like that? Yeah. Um, I want to stay in New Hampshire for the rest of my life because I love New Hampshire and my son's support system is here. My support system is here. Uh, Eli now has a support system here. Um, I'm talking in terms of like a professional one. Um, and, but if we ever like, <laughs> what? You know, <laughs> I just love you. I love you, too. Okay. <laughs> that was just funny. <laughs> but if we were ever to move, it would probably be to Vermont. Like, if it was going to be another state. Because Vermont, you know, because that's where his other support systems are. In <laughs> Alaska, also... but he just doesn't no, know it. No, I don't want to go to Alaska. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, the wilderness? Oh, Come my on. God. We could go fish salmon. Oh. I would be terrified all the time. What if I have a heart attack right now and the hospital's like, three hours away? Then what? I'm sure there's a house by the hospital. I don't want it. <laughs> Veto. <laughs> All right. Whoops. I already did that one. Oops. How do I do that? It cancel. Do do. Thank you, Kay. We answered that one. Answered that one. Answered that one. Our views are we support. We don't care if people smoke weed, but we don't smoke it. Eli wishes he did sometimes. (laughs) (laughs) Good thing to do when you're a bachelor. Yes, the short lifespan on big dogs does scare me. I worry about it daily. It is ridiculous. I should not obsess about it so much, but I am nervous. Yes, my parents call me MJ. I don't know what our love languages are. We found it out and I forget. I can answer those ones. I don't know how to work your phone. You just click it. (laughs) That's a lot of clicking I had to do. (laughs) Only my fingertips worked with that phone. Yes, I've actually been to the fun spot. Funny thing is, I almost flattened a kid there once when I was younger. You almost flattened a kid? (laughs) You mean as it beat him up or like... Like, couldn't stop. (laughs) (laughs) You mean you slid on his head or something well you're on roll so the fun spot is like an indoor roller skating <sighs> thing and i had never used actual roller skates roller blades i prefer i went on a trip and i think it was a school function and they gave us roller skates and yeah so those are really hard to stop oh my let God. alone get momentum to go so the wall was my best friend, and that poor kid was holding the wall trying to go around the wall. <laughs> Needless to say, they were fine. Um, and Dave and Buster's, I've never been, but that's kind of like an adult. I think it's an adult arcade. I thought, yeah, I thought it was like a lot of beer there. I well, I think you can go with kids, and then it oh, turns okay. into an adult bar later oh. on. I think. Don't quote me on that. That's cool. So we did this. This reminds me of your mom. What? That first question. <laughs> <laughs> Can I answer that? Will she get mad? My mother won't see this. It's okay. She, she might follow me on TikTok. Would she be mad? It's almost time for her to go to work. I'm sure she's enjoying her quiet time. <laughs> so, this question is, will you ever have a goat like a fainting goat? And my mother-in-law, I love her so much. I love my mother-in-law. But she has that thing, the fainting, fainting goat thing. <laughs> no, it's not... It's not, she's a nice, I love her. But she does (laughs) faint like a goat a lot. (laughs) Eli always talks about it. 
<laughs> I, that's what I was told. It was it was some sort of fainting goat thing. <laughs> Is it hereditary? <laughs> God, I hope not. I'm too big to be picked up. <laughs> You're gonna have to call people in. <laughs> Thank you, Tara. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, Queen has that too. Oh my gosh. Is that the official hmm. name for it, I wonder? I don't know. Hi, Fugitive. Doo -doo. Chinese food would be our favorite type of food. Well, mine. I don't know what yours would be. <laughs> Let's see. I you should go to the doctors. I don't know how to I don't know how to take care of babies. I mean, I took care of one before, but I didn't know much of what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> if your kid lives, you did it right. I'm pretty sure that's the motto you live by, honey. <laughs> yes. Thank you, May. I actually took a safe sitter course when I was like 12 so I could like babysit on the books and stuff. Yeah. And I have to say that was probably one of the best things I ever did for myself because I did do a lot of babysitting when I was younger. Not only is it good money, but you learn really great life skills. Yeah. Um, when you have siblings. That's true. <laughs> What's one big thing you guys agree to disagree on? I've been trying to think about this since I saw this question and I can't think of anything. I feel like most core value stuff we agree oh oh um like healthy lifestyle changes like my husband is very rigid and he does very well like when he wants to get healthy and stuff like he's very like rigid about it and my opinion is that's not healthy so we have different opinions on that um you know but we agree to disagree because everybody's body's different everybody's you know um so i would say that's i don't know i can't think of anything else no, but I think that's one of the biggest things. Uh, look. Oh, there I'm he sorry, comes. I cut you off. I'm sorry. No, no, we've got to get going anyways. All right. Thank you so much, <laughs> you guys. No, this was really fun. I want to do this again soon. I'm so sorry I got to end it. I love you guys so much. <laughs>